Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Treasure Cold Steel 2! Last time, we went around and talked to everybody. Now we're going to uh, go ahead and move on with life. We have two scenes that we need to see, so let's get it started. Hey there, Rain. Hey there, guys. Looks like someone's done with class for the day. Oh, yeah, I'm just being lazy, just hanging around. What are y'all up to? Yep, Angie's brand new bike. We started building it for you, but then we had a change of heart. I just couldn't tear you away from your current ride after you'd grown so attached. Oh, yeah, I don't really use your motorcycle all that much, though. I'd rather use the horse. Don't get too jealous. Specs are pretty much the same as yours. Well, before Angie tunes it up and adds her custom gear for distance riding, that is. Distance riding? Where are you going? Yeah... Ten points to rain. I just felt like it was time for me to go out and see the world for myself. My martial arts teacher did the same thing once, so I'm sure it'll be a valuable experience for me. The plan for now is to travel through the entirety of Zamiria. Oh, wow! Not even all of Erebonia, all the whole that? place! I have no idea where she finds the energy. Oh, really now? Your plan to visit the continent's most famous engineering factories is pretty much exactly the same thing. You really think so? So you're both leaving? Seems that way. First stop's the Burl and ZCF. Always wanted to see it. After that, I got my heart set on a trip to the Epstein Foundation over in Le Mans State. While I'm at it, I think it'd be nice to pay a visit to the Vern Company in Calvert, too. Oh, wow, they're going everywhere. Hey, <laughs> I didn't say it'd be easy, but I think I can pull some strings. The real reason for this trip is to figure out what I can do as an engineer to help smooth over our international relations. Meeting the continent's finest engineers and discussing things with them should really help get the ball rolling on that. I don't know if international diplomacy is an engineer's strong suit, but I'll wish you guys luck anyway. Yeah, hopefully. Oh, yeah, that too. Don't beat yourself up over it, Reen. You have nothing to be ashamed of. That was your only option, given the way the Chancellor set things up. Your actions actually helped us avoid an even longer, more brutal war. Oh, yeah, you know, putting an end to the war was good. Right. You played a role that no one else could have. Just think. If things kept going the way they were going, we could have been at war with all of Crossbell. I don't even want to imagine the number of lives that would have been lost if you hadn't stepped in the way you did. Well, thanks. Of course, us telling you whether or not you should feel guilty doesn't matter. It all comes down to you facing your own feelings over what you did. But there's one thing we'd like you to remember as you do. You're not alone, Rain. You've got friends who understand why you did what you did. Oh, and you guys are really good friends, too. Thank you so much. They're so sweet. It's kind of a shame that they're leaving, though. <laughs> Don't mention it. On a completely different note, why don't you pay Valimar a visit while you're here? We you spared no expense making sure he'd be nice and cozy in there. Okay. He's been fine on the back of a train, though. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> well, aren't you a sweet chevalier? Maybe I'll check in on him in a bit, too. Well, I do my best to be a good guy. Do you guys have anything else to say after we updated your character notebook? Oh, yeah. I'm surprised your father's even, like, speaking to you any longer. I mean, you're like the most rebellious girl ever. Oh, okay. What about you? Yeah, no kidding. Just, you know, be safe. Oh, okay. Huh. Well, that's nice of him. I mean, you would think that he would just want to, you know, hang around and build stuff. Rather than go exploring the world, it's kind of an odd thing for him to do. Can't you just go to like some sort of engineering conference, like CES or something like that, and just talk to everybody there? Anyway, how's Valimar? Relatively comfortably. My ability to self-repair means that maintenance is not mandatory, but I expect it will increase my operating efficiency. Okay, well that's good. Yeah, you know, at least you'll be protected from the elements and everything. You should be fine in here. I will strive to meet your expectations. Well, you already do. 
You get me through those boring ass battles, so that's one good thing. Something unusual? Eh, I'm sure it's nothing. Maybe it's just a malfunction or something. I am unsure. It may have simply been a fluctuation of the earth things below us. Similar fluctuations are hardly abnormal. In the earth below us? Hmm. Yeah, Valimar is just going crazy. It's absolutely nothing at all. Indeed. I shall use it to inform you should I sense anything is amiss. I don't know how you use telepathy with a robot, but sure, whatever. Anything else to say, Valimar? Okay. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, well, we've already spoken to everyone, so now we'll have one more person to talk to. There's nobody else in here, so let's head on over to the uh, student union real quick. And you know what? While I'm here, um, I do need to go ahead and purchase the last Imperial Chronicle that I can buy. Let's see, it's uh, number seven. There it is, so go ahead and buy that. Awesome. And with that, since I've gotten all the books, that should give me a trophy. Again, not that I really care, but... Where the hell's my frickin' trophy? Come on now, game! There it is! Sweet! Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sure she is. She's always busy. You there? Oh, maybe she's hiding from you or something. Maybe she doesn't want to talk to you. Like, leave her alone, Reen. Not everyone wants to see your perky, smiley face. Oh, she's sleeping. Eh, she's just tired, I guess. Why don't we just leave her alone? Uh, yeah, maybe you should just let her sleep? I mean, that would be a nice thing. Oh, that's right, this has happened before, and she wasn't exactly pleased whenever she woke up. Yeah. Hmm. Angie. George. Oh. Oh. <gasps> mm. Are you okay, Toa? Guess she's having a dream. Well, won't she be upset when she realizes that everyone's leaving her? Reen? What are you doing in my room? And Reen magically regains his voice at this point, so I'm going to be quiet for a bit. Wait. This is the student council room. I must have fallen asleep. <laughs> Sorry for coming in without permission. I did knock, though. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's my fault for dozing off like this. <sighs> Why do you always have to keep finding me like that? I hope you weren't looking at me while I was sleeping again. I, uh, I did try to look as little as possible. Well, if you say so. Hmm? Is something the matter? You're not looking too well. No, I'm fine. Maybe the light streaming in through the window is making me look off color? I feel fine, really. Uh. Come with me. Um. W what's this all about? I know that you're a boy and all. And I do think that you've grown a lot during your year here. No, I probably shouldn't even call you a boy anymore. You're a grown man now, but... That doesn't mean you always have to stand and endure everything life throws your way, okay? If it gets too much, it's alright to sit down and let it all out. Whether you're a boy or a grown man doesn't change that. It's okay, Reen. <gasps> I'm so sorry. <sighs> I'm so, so sorry. I promised I'd bring him back. I promised I'd make him graduate with you, but I couldn't do it. It's okay. You did everything you could. You made sure he knew how we all felt. And you let all of us know how he really felt too. So... Don't get so worked up about it. Okay? 
Poor Rain. You know, he gets to grieve too. Oh, this is really sad. <laughs> well, I guess we're even then. Not like I jump for joy every time you catch me sleeping. I mean, I'm glad that Rain was voiced for that scene. It's just kind of odd that he now loses his voice. Yep. My days of being president are almost done. The first years taking over are really smart, though. I barely had to teach a thing in the end. But, yeah, that whole, like, boys don't cry thing is so overrated. That's why men have all sorts of emotional problems. Yep. The plan's to take a year to visit NGOs in lots of different fields. Politics, economics, engineering, medicine... After that, I'm not sure what I want to do. I'll probably join either the army or something related to the government, I suppose. NGOs are non-governmental organizations, just in case you were wondering what the hell she was talking about. Basically, she's looking to work in some sort of field that doesn't involve the government. I don't know. I don't think I did anything special, really. Still, I feel like it'd be best in the long run for me to see the world from a variety of different perspectives. I don't know what path I'll choose, but I want to step onto it with a firm decision on how things should be. I think that's the best thing I can do for this country's future. <laughs> Maybe I'm being a little over dramatic there, though. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe you could learn about the NGOs and then work for Erebonia? Who knows? Do what you want. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I almost forgot. What was it that made you come here? I mean, I'm happy you did, but... Well, we just wanted to come and see you, you know, do one last goodbye and everything. Yeah, and also be your gopher. That works, too. But you've only just come back. And besides, tomorrow's your... Tomorrow's my what? The flea market? I don't know. It's not graduation day. Reen still has to come back next year. Well, if you say so. Okay. I do have a few things in mind, so I'll just drop them into your mailbox in the dorm like I always do. And thanks for offering. Okay, well, sounds like a plan. So, let's go! And who are you? Oh, hey, it's everyone! Yeah, what are you guys up to? Um, sure, if you say so. Yeah. Got nowhere else to go. Oh, yeah, why not? Friends forever! Let's go! I wish it was dusk more often in these games. I love how they color the sky. It looks so pretty. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right! It is early March! The entirety of the game was... Jan... or not January. It was December. So it was, you know, winter time and everything. So it's nice to see uh, spring come to bloom. Kind of reminds me of I Am Setsuna with, you know, snow all over the place. But we're done with that now. Good game, by the way, if you didn't watch that LP. Loved it. Oh, yeah, that's true. Well, you weren't the only one Crow joined halfway through the year as well. Oh, yeah, those two still hardly get along. Man. Oh, yeah, you really should, Machias. You were kind of a bitch. <laughs> oh, I love uses in his backhanded compliments. It's great. Oh, well, you really can't blame him. He is better than you. I mean, he's much more tolerable. Oh, yeah. Well, Elisa, you and Reen didn't exactly uh, get along either. Yeah, leave it to Laura to bring that one up. <laughs> yeah, stuff it in your face, Elisa. You were cold-hearted for quite some time after that, and Reen did nothing wrong! Really? Milliam still doesn't know? You would think that they would have kind of, like, told her off-screen or something. Why is she the last person who needs to know? Just because she's the youngest? I don't know. Oh. Oh, yeah, the, uh, the trap door. That's right. <laughs> oh, I love all this little reminiscing. It's cute. It's sweet. Oh. Yeah, you know, you could have died. 
Yeah, but we could take them. No problem at all. I mean, we had tons of party members. When, like, do you ever start any other game with this many party members like we did in the first game? It's like they throw you in and you're stuck with like nine party members. It's crazy. Not that I mind. I like more party members. All about it. Yeah, Sarah knew exactly what she was doing. She's no fool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. At least into mine, I've had to play through it so many times. Oh. <laughs> oh, you do crazy stuff all the time, Milliam. I'm sure you've got plenty of stories to uh, dredge up yourself. Yeah, no kidding. I love the relationship between Eusis and Milliam. They're so cute together. They're so funny. Um, I don't really know, but I'm sure whatever you have, it's gonna be wonderful! It's gonna be the best food ever! Is that window on fire? Oh, no, that's probably like leaves of a tree or something in the background with the... Uh, I don't know, the sun shining on through, but to me it looked like the house was on fire. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, go ahead and cook. Gaius is a pretty good cook, I believe. That won't be necessary. And who are you? Oh, hey, Sharon. Huh? Sharon? What reason could you possibly have for being here? Way to be a bitch, Elisa! What's your problem? She's so nice and you, you can be grateful? Permission to return to my former position as your dormitory's caretaker. Which means I am here to serve you all once more. There may only be a short time left until the end of the year, but I'll make sure you want for nothing during it. I've already started preparing your evening meal, so there's no need to go out and buy anything. Oh, well, how about that? I'm fine with this. We will gladly accept your offer. Sharon's cooking's better than whatever grub we could wrestle up together anyway. How do you manage to get permission from Mother in the first place, though? Weren't you helping to rebuild the Reinford Group? I thought the company was getting so many orders in, it was struggling to keep up! Now that Master Gwyn has returned to the company, everything is back in order. He and the Chairman have been speeding through one task after another since he got back. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. So the former and current chairman make quite a team, I see. Boy, I'm starving. Wouldn't mind a drink either. With the weather getting warmer, it's just about time for peak beer season. Huh? What are you guys all gathered out here for? Oh, why are you here? It's a pleasure to see you too, Lady Sarah. I brought a bountiful supply of smoked oysters and sardines. If you'd like a snack to accompany your beer, would you like them alongside your dinner? Uh, damn it. Yes. I'm surprised she can just walk around in public like this. You know, considering her affiliation. I'm guessing there's some sort of agreement in place between Reinford and the government to leave her alone. Though, even if there weren't, I can't imagine anything would be able to stop Sharon from doing what she wants. Wow, it seems like nobody wants Sharon around. I thought that they all liked Sharon. I mean, yeah, she works for Ouroboros, but it's not like we're fighting against her. I mean, she's helped us out on multiple occasions. She saved her ass back at the Vermilion Castle, more than any of y'all did. And then Elisa and Sa Sarah just want to be, like, crazy to her? Like, what's your problem? Ugh. That just really bugs me. Oh, is it nighttime? Time to go around and be an insomniac and uh, not sleep? Of course, I mean, you are a JRPG hero. You can't possibly get any sleep at all. Okay. Yeah. So just like we did in the first game, we have to go around before the night uh, or before the next day and talk to everybody. And this is an optional thing, so as usual, with all optional things, I'm going to throw it into a bonus episode, because, you know, why not? So we're going to be going around talking to everybody next time on Let's Play Legend of Heroes Treasure Cold Steel 2. 
This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.